welcome to the first lecture on game theory now in this video we'll discuss what are the basic elements and assumptions in game theory right from choosing toothpaste to choosing the right financial portfolio every one of us is a player in this grand game called life and to assist us in our endeavor we have a fine companion in game theory at the heart of game theory lies a game any competitive activity whose outcome depends on the strategic interaction between two or more decision makers better known as players is a game chess football boxing etc are examples of games and so are missile defense price wars and management negotiations all the strategic decision makers within the context of the game are players players could be competing individuals who say as in chess could be competing firms in a duopoly in the context of the game every player encounters a decision problem characterized by three fundamental questions first what are the possible choices second what is the result of each of these choices and third how does each outcome affects the player these questions now help us formalize three basic concepts of action outcomes and payoffs the set of all possible choices that a player has is called actions actions result in possible consequences known as outcomes each player receives a payout from each outcome which is known as the payoff a payoff function assigns quantifiable value to ordinal payoffs ranging from money to utility a very interesting example in game theory is the game of matching pennies played between two players player 1 and player 2 now each player has a penny and must secretly turn the penny to heads or tails the player then reveal their choices simultaneously if the pennies match both heads or both tails then player 1 keeps both pennies wins one from player 2 resulting in plus 1 for player 1 and minus 1 for player 2 if the pennies do not match one head and one tail player 2 keeps both pennies so receives one from player 1 that is minus 1 for player 1 and plus 1 for player 2 and this game each player has two choices so thus action set has two elements either they can play heads or tails the interaction of two players choices results in four outcomes we can represent these four outcomes on a matrix so suppose here we have player 2 and here we have player 1 actions so player 1 can play heads tails and player 2 can play heads and tails so we have four choices heads 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 tails tails heads and tails tails now if we get heads and heads then in that case player 1 gets the payoff plus 1 and player 2 gets a payoff minus 1 now in case of heads and tails minus 1 for player 1 and plus 1 for player 2 now if it is tails and heads then again it will be minus 1 plus 1 and in case of tails and tails it will be again plus 1 minus 1 so we can represent the action set outcomes and payoffs using this game matrix another way to represent matching pennies game is by using a decision tree using branches and nodes so first we have this player 1 now player 1 has two choices either he can play heads or tails now simultaneously here player 2 can play either heads or tails so this is simultaneous node and this is for player 2 so this is called as decision tree representation of the game now we can write their payoffs so if it is heads heads then it is plus 1 for player 1 and minus 1 for player 2 tails minus 1 plus 1 tails and heads minus 1 plus 1 and then tails tails it is plus 1 and minus 1 so we can represent a game using the game matrix or we can represent a game using a decision tree now before moving forward 
let us examine some assumptions in game theory. Now, first assumption that we have is rational choice assumption. Now, rational choice assumption asserts that a player's choice in choosing between potential actions will choose the action that gives him the highest possible payoffs. So, the rational choice assumption in case of matching pennies imposes the condition that both players know all the possible actions, all possible outcomes and the possible payoffs from each outcome. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.